Hey guys, I'm sure all of you got, uh, want iPhone apps on your iPod Touch. Well, there's going to be some requirements, and you, I'm sure you want Jailbroken 1.1.3. Well, iPod Touch Master has come with a solution for that. So we're going to follow his his uh, routine, and we'll get a Jailbroken 1.1.3 iPod Touch. So first of all, you're going to have to need a Jailbroken 1.1.2 iPod Touch. If you don't know how to do that, watch my earlier video. I only have two earlier ones, so it should be easy to find. Okay, then you are going to need to go into installer. And then once you're in installer, make sure that there's no updates. After you install the update, then you're good. So you're going to have to go into, um, let's see, into a system and download something called BSD subsystem. I already have this installed, I'm just showing you on my uninstall list. It's called BSD Subsystem. Once this is finished, once you're finished installing that, go right back into the system and install something called OpenSSH. Okay, um, after OpenSSH is installed, you're going to go into Utilities and download something called Services, which should be down here, but I already installed it, so would actually be right there. So I've installed it. Once you're done downloading those three, um, you're almost ready to jailbreak your iPod in 1.1.3. So let's go to the home page. If I can click that. Alright, now we're going to have to go into settings and go to general, uh, auto lock, and make sure it's set to never, not like two minutes or four minutes or whatever. You can do that on never because your iPod's going to be up for a while and it's going to be on. So, um, and another thing that iPod Touch Master has not pointed out, if you want to save your iPod's screen, uh, you're going to have to go into settings and then click on brightness and put that close to all the way down because it's going to be on for a while and if you have it all the way up it might be bad. So keep that all the way down or close to it. If you just want to save battery, then that's what's recommended. Once it's done, you're good to go. Now, you just have to do one more thing. What you just downloaded, services, will be on your home page. Just click on that and make sure at the bottom it says SSH and that's on. Well, if that's on, then you're good. If it's off, turn it on. So, mine's on. Um, it's My iPod's pretty much ready to be jailbroken. And now, the last thing before you jailbreak it is... Well, you're all you're gonna need a charger so it stays on or a full battery. So you either want to plug it into your computer and keep it full, like, keep it on the charger at all times, or just have a really high battery. All right, now we'll go into sources, top right click edit, top left click add, and you're gonna have to add the source, which will be in my description. It is called iPod, iPod Touch master dot com slash files slash repo repo dot xml now make sure you'll see like that little pop up it says xml all caps make sure it's lowercase because it actually downloads a lot quicker. I've tried. Alright, so once that's done, you want to click OK. Let that download. It'll download the source. And um, just remember, this will get you iPhone apps and Jailbroken 1.1.3, so it's a great thing to have. Alright, once it's done, you got to click Done at the top right. And you're pretty much ready to go. So you're going to want to plug that iPod into a charger or have full battery, do whatever you can to keep it on as much as possible without dying. Um, now, you're going to see on your on your installer list, on your categories list, it'll say 1.1.3 jailbreak plus apps. Click on that and you'll there should be one thing. It should say 1.1.3 jailbreak plus iPhone apps. You can't see iPhone apps. It's over there. But it's it says it. Maybe. So click on that and you're going to want at the top right, click install. There's going to be a string of notices. 
because this is a very long process to install. You need a lot of memory. Well, it, you should actually have like 160 megabytes free on your iPod. Now, through these string of notices, you should read them. This will jailbreak 1.1.3. Also, the iPhone applications for you free. Um, made by the iPod Elite team, which iPod Touch Masters in, which all my videos are inspired by, unless I say otherwise. So, there we go, you want to click on that, and then you'll get another notice, make sure your iPod is fully charged, or on a charger. And, it's going to start downloading. Now, you see how it looks like it's almost done? It'll just get stuck right where it is right now. It'll stick at that for about an hour, and then it'll just shoot up to the top. And once it's done, it should restart once, maybe a couple times, I'm not sure. Actually, I've never watched it. So, once it restarts, um, you should have 1.1.3, and this will it'll stick like that for a while. So, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the camera, and you should click pause, and go do something. Like, I'm, I'm about to go eat, so I, that should take up some time. I'll put my camera back on right when this is done, so be right back, guys. Okay guys, uh, I was actually not in my room when my iPod finished its update, so it's got a little black screen, and it says, took actually about, I'm not sure, I'll actually, maybe an hour, I really don't know, and yay, 1.1.3, you'll see the edit home screen to rearrange your icons and wiggle and all of that. So, now I've got this. See, just to prove to you, see how I can wiggle my icons. And you can see I have mail, uh, weather, maps, and stocks, and also, obviously, an uh, installer. That's the main reason why we're doing this. So, you can see installer works. Let's go. Just to prove to you guys, I'll download something. Let's go with, I'll download a game, I guess. Let's download all this game. Contra Sense. It's a driving game. I love this one. Alright, well, I'm just proving to you that it works. And... should load. There you go. It's got it right there. Looks like this. The iPod's working pretty good, and I don't know, you guys, you guys don't learn about the games after you download them, I'm really, like, I don't want to play it right now, but, yep, that's just about done, so, oh, one more thing, here, I'll, uh, one more thing, I'll have to show you in one minute, uh, I just have to show it to my camera really quick. Okay, I'm back, guys, sorry for the wait, it's just that, my camera ran out of battery, so I just was playing with the touch a little bit. Alright. So the last thing I want to show you so that your iPod uh, Touch in 1.1.3 can be working great. Uh, well, you have auto lock set to never. You're going to want to put that back to 2, 1, 3 minutes, wherever you like. Put your brightness at whatever setting you like. And then next, you have to go into installer. And download something called Boss Prefs. And then, I'm not sure where that is, but once you download that, you're going to click. Let me just download it, I'll show you guys. Boss, or no, it's Boss Tools. I have no clue, actually. Boss Tools, there we go. I have a clue. Okay, after you download Boss Tool. Go to your startup menu, it'll load, and it should appear, slide to unlock, it'll appear right there, click on it, and click free disk space, click relocate fonts, do it. I had 4 megabytes of memory left for my disk space for downloads, now I'm going to shut off my camera, this might take a minute or two, and hopefully it'll give me at least 80 so at least so I can download a lot of things and so I'll be right back. Okay, it's done. Relocated fonts. Or fonts re already moved or whatever. See I have eighty eight megabytes free out of two hundred and seventy nine megabytes for like my downloading drive. It has two disc portions, smaller is three hundred megabytes, whatever. You guys can read that.